Hello, 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 Maz gang. Um, it's what, a week away until Christmas is here. Um, so today I thought I would bring you guys back in the kitchen because Brian has been in the kitchen during this vlogmas. And yes, guys, we know that there was no videos last week. <laughs> um, however, we did have a little family issue that came up and yeah, it just needed our attention. But we're back and i am going to be doing some cookies right because what is christmas without some cookies um the spin the angle that i'm going for is that i want the red and white color so i'm actually going to be doing red velvet cookies with white chocolate chips just to give it that christmas color feel considering we did use a lot of red in our decorations as well we got invited to a holiday party today and we don't want to walk empty-handed so that's the beauty of being able to bake so i'm going to share this quick recipe with you guys um hopefully it's good enough for you to follow along if it is that you do decide to try it out let me know let me know how it went in the comments um and if it is that you liked it so let's get to it so of course i'm going to go through the ingredients i had already pre-measured my flour so this is just a cup and a third of flour which has been spooned and leveled um you're going to be using white sugar about a half cup of white sugar a quarter cup of brown sugar so you use brown sugar because it helps the cookie spread um this is a brand of cocoa powder that i like to use you're going to be using probably about four tablespoons of this. You're going to use a little bit of salt. You only need a stick of butter, white chocolate chips, one egg. You're going to be using a little bit of vinegar because vinegar gives a slight tang to that secret flavor of red velvet. Um, you're going to need baking soda, vanilla extract, and of course, your food coloring so this food coloring here super red um to me gives the most vibrant and true color of red a lot of times red food coloring it has it look like a deep orange instead of actual red so this one by chef master really does work and you can get it on amazon so i am about to portion up my dry ingredients first because i'm going to be mixing those together um for those of you who don't know even though i bake i am not a huge fan of sweets myself and i remember initially when i saw everybody going crazy over red velvet cake i couldn't understand why um, and then i finally tasted it like years later and i was like okay this has a very interesting flavor profile because it has like tinges of chocolate in there but not a whole lot and then as i said that vinegar gives the acid in the vinegar gives it like this tangy flavor so it's a very interesting flavor profile um i do eat cookies even though i don't eat cake so being able to recreate that flavor in a cookie for me was amazing <laughs> um so yeah let's hope it comes out good this time so i'm gonna show you what i'm doing here with the ingredients So now I am going to grab my mixer. Um, for most recipes, it requires your butter to be room temperature. So my butter was sitting out for most of the day, just so that it can easily incorporate when it is that you're going to be blending together the butter and the sugar, which is exactly what we're going to be doing now. We're going to whip the butter and sugar together and then we're going to add the rest of the wet ingredients. So that's like the egg, the vanilla extract, food coloring, and then you're going to be adding the dry stuff to it. And you're going to see everything come together. With cookies, it happens really quickly. So yeah, we're not going to be spending very long doing this. It's very, very easy to follow.
I'm about to give you a quick look as to how it should look after it is that you've creamed your butter and sugar together. So you want it to have the texture of very wet sand. So it should look a little something like this. And if you see, when you go in there, there you go, when you scoop it out, it should look something like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of the wet ingredients. So there's your egg, there's your vanilla. We're gonna be doing the food coloring and then the touch of vinegar. And then we'll add this dry mixture to it. color that it's taking I'm gonna add my vinegar here now so that's the last of the wet ingredients um, when the cocoa powder and the dry ingredients mix in with this then you're gonna see it turning into more of that burgundy classic looking red velvet color so we're just gonna put this to mix again and also keep on remembering that like at each step you just make sure to scrape down the sides of your bowl scrape out your paddle so that you make sure that you have everything mixed in perfectly. So now you're just gonna grab back for this dry mixture that we had set aside earlier. Um, and we're gonna, well, I like to fold it in first, just so when you turn on the mixer, all the dry ingredients aren't just flying everywhere. So I just fold it into my mixture and then I put it back under the paddle attachment, mix it up for a little bit. You only want it to just be combined um, and then you're done with that and we can add our chips. part because we're finished with this but you know I just scrape out the extra over to the paddle and now we're gonna add our white chocolate chips so I'm gonna show you what the batter looks like uh, you can either use the mixer to mix the chocolate chips in or you can just fold it in with your paddle in your hand I just prefer to fold it in so I'm gonna do that now so this is what your batter is looking like. Um, this color will get even darker now when you actually bake it. So, but you can see it's looking a lot more like that traditional red velvet color. So now we officially have our cookie batter ready, but we're gonna put it in the fridge for it. I'm just gonna cover it with some cling wrap and we're gonna put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes because we want it to get a little bit cold one. So it isn't as sticky when you're trying to scoop it out because I'm gonna use a small ice cream scoop to get the perfect spooned cookie. And then you also don't want the cookie to spread too much because you don't want just a flat mess. We want these cookies to be of a nice average thickness so that it's chewy, it's soft on the inside and has those crispy edges on the outside still. So I'm gonna go and wrap this up, put it in the fridge and then I'll come back when it's time to scoop. Okay, our 
our 30 minutes have passed. So time to take this out and scoop these. I already lined my pan um, and lightly sprayed it. I don't normally use foil. It's probably better to use parchment paper, but this is what I got right now, so. So we're gonna preheat the oven at 350. While we scoop. Okay, so I'm about to put them in the oven. They're only gonna be in the oven maybe for 10 to 12 minutes, depending on how soft you want them. So if you want them really soft, then you know, you just pull them out a little bit before. So I normally check them around the nine minute mark, see how everything is looking, and then decide when I wanna take it out. Okay, here is my finished product. I love when it looks like that, like you can kind of see the crack on the top. But yeah, we're just gonna take these off and transfer them to a cooling rack. And then they'll be ready to eat. So I've finally finished um, and I actually pre-scooped the rest of the batter. So I just have them in balls here. So when you have them in this form, you can actually put them in a freezer, you can keep them in the fridge for a couple of days and you can just pop them out whenever it is that you, if you know you just want three, you can pop them out and you can just do three of them. Um, so it's a good way to store them. But here's the finished product. Ta-da! So of course we're keeping a few for ourselves. Yeah, of course. You know, he has to have one, right? Of course. <laughs> Tell me how it is. Yeah. Is it soft and chewy? It is soft, chewy. It's the one. Mm, okay, there you go. This is good. As I told you guys, we are going to a holiday party today. And this was our idea for a holiday cookie, red and white for Christmas. Yeah, so I'm gonna share the recipe in the description box below. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Please make sure to share the recipe with everybody else. Don't keep it to yourself. Please comment. And if you haven't already, do what? Subscribe. All right, guys. Well, he's done, so. It was good.